When we think about encouraging innovation at AHIP, part of what we're working on is how do we go back to worrying about the consumer or the individual or the patient? They can go by many names, but what is it they need? How do we start with the consumer first? Well, at Cambia, we focus on the consumer journey. And if you take someone who has a chronic condition, we know what the path in that journey is. And so we can use data to help personalize that person's treatment plan, that journey. We can use predictive analytics to help them understand what's next, what to anticipate, or to help curate the number of options they have available to address what's right for them and their family. You know, we have to begin to imagine that our job is to give consumers a path to understand how to make the system that isn't consumer friendly, but pretends to be, become consumer friendly. We have the tools coming online now to really help guide consumers to better choices through their biology, through their understanding of their behavior. I have little doubt that in 10 years, we're gonna be able to have wearables or things that are implants in our bodies that analyze and tell us what our toxins are, where our microbiome might be off, minerals we might be deficient in. Data and technology is going to be key to driving quality, efficiency, and more important, consumer or patient satisfaction. We at the health plans are going to be key to that. We have the data and we need to make sure that we harness it in a way to impact people's lives and move the needle in public health.